Hey gang, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. We're in the middle of ball bearing week and I'm back with another ball bearing game. This is one of the oldest ones in my collection. This is Baffle Ball. Let's get this thing down and have a look at it. First off, box art. And wow, this is from the heady days of 1965. Yep, this is an oldie. I love how vintage the graphics are to this box. It's very of its time. And truthfully, this isn't my game. This is my mum's. Yep, my mum had this when she was little and it was one of her favourite toys. So, what is it? It's a clear plastic ball with a number of cups glued to it, with a ball encased inside the clear ball. And that's really it. The game, however, is deceptively simple. One cup has a hole cut into it, and this is the start point. Navigate the ball to the first cup, and you're ready to play. To play Baffle Ball, all you really need to do is navigate the ball from cup to cup, tilting the clear ball and rolling the black ball from cup to cup. The cups are numbered, and there's a real sequence to doing this. And for such a simple sounding task, this is incredibly tough to do. Not only has your aim got to be spot on, but your reactions too. You're using the big clear sphere to effectively move the game board around. It's a neat concept. The black ball isn't a ball bearing, but it's hard plastic. And it wants to bounce, it really does. So, hitting the edge of a cup, it's going to bounce off. It will even bounce out of the bottom of a cup, so you need to be quick to catch it. Your reflexes need to be cat-like with this game. The first three steps or so have you dropping maybe a quarter turn, but as the game progresses, the distance between cups is widening and increasing the bounce of the ball. It's difficult to get that final cup, but getting there, oh man, it's satisfying. This is one of those games that you'll pick up and you'll fail and fail, but it'll go, oh, go on then, one more turn. And that one more turn turns into 10 more turns. And then half an hour's gone by. Final step now. <laughs> From this one here to this one here, one more step. Yes! You saw it, you saw it, I did this. For such a simple looking game, the challenge presented in this is immense. But getting the sequence right and being perfectly balanced and getting that ball to go from cup to cup to cup, if you do it right, it only takes about a minute, but you'll be sat there for 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour, just trying to make that happen. I mean, this is the definition of an addictive little game. It's an old one, but it is definitely worth checking out. Well, stay tuned all this week. I'm going to be looking at more ball bearing games. As always, I'm Luke. Thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. If you like what I'm doing here on Down From The Attic, please consider liking the video and subscribing. Comments are always welcome, and I'll see you in the next video.